Welcome back to PSquaredSports.com, part of the Padilla Poll. I'm Jeff Power. Brett Ratliff joining us now from uh, New uh, Diana. First of all, thank you for How being with you? us. Hey, thank you for I'm having good. me. Hey, 13 starters returning, including seven on offense. That's a good way to get started. Yeah, I, I hope for a big season this year. You know, being two years in our system, having those guys back, I think that uh, some good things are going to happen with that many kids coming back. Tell me about uh, Joby Ainsworth, your quarterback, just what he brings to the table. It's always good to have a quarterback coming back, but especially one that's got the yardage uh, totals that he has. Oh, absolutely. Anytime you have one of those kids coming back, especially your signal caller, it's big. He was a, a 1,200 yard passer and about a 600 yard rusher last year, about 25 total touchdowns. He's a producer. He's a real student of the game. He's a great leader for us, and, and I expect some big things out of him this year. We were talking about 8-3A Division II Wascoms in your district. Yes. Just talk about some of the, the district opponents you guys play and how tough this district is. Well, you know, it's the toughest district in uh, 3A Division II. There's no doubt about that from top to bottom. When you look at who I think is uh, the favorite to win the, the, the state title being Wascom. Then you're going to have Arp, who's always very, very tough. They have a running back that's out of this world. You got Dennis Alexander at Troop over there. And then you got Frankston, who has a big, giant, tall receiver. Uh, EF, who's traditionally great. And then you have West Russ, Guinona, and us. I mean, I think it's going to be a great, great district. It's going to be a lot of fun. Tell me about getting ready for district play. Who's on that non-district schedule to prepare you for district play? Well, you know, as soon as I've seen our district come out and I, I realignment set up and I got a chance to go talk with other coaches I knew that I had to set up a, a pretty tough non-district schedule to kind of give us that measure and stick where we were going to be so I ended up getting Jefferson which is a, a traditionally very very strong team I got Garrison who beat us in the first round of the playoffs last year on a uh, seven second field goal at the end of the game you know it was a heartbreaker so you know, I want a little bit of revenge there, so, so I called him and we worked that deal out. A little motivation. Did, yeah. And then we got <laughs> Tyler Grace, which is a very traditionally strong passing school, and we're going to see some teams that pass the ball a little bit more than we did last year. So. Tell me about your coaching staff, just uh, the guys that kind of the X's and O's behind the scenes who make things happen, make that practice run when you're, you know, taking care of other business. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Uh, I have a great coaching staff. They work really hard. They bought into the system that I brought in two years ago. My offensive coordinator, Brant Plaster, he's a real student of what my offensive philosophy is, and he's going to be great calling the plays for me this year. And then uh, our defensive coordinator, he's just a bulldog. He's just a, that go-getter, that loud, fiery guy, sure. you know, and in our 4 2 5 defense, he likes to stunt, bring a lot of pressure, and, and he and, and he's, the, he's the fire of our team right there, so I have a great coaching staff. Could that maybe be your key? The defense is trying to keep you guys close and let your offense take over? It's going to have to be. I think that our, that our offense right now has, it is pretty well known to people in our district as being able to score points. I think that we're going to have to step up defensively and stop some people to win some games. Um, overall, as you get ready now, as the season getting ready to start, you're here at the Texas High School Coaches Association uh, exhibits here, get to see a lot of coaches. Can y'all get a chance to kind of talk and just uh, maybe not, not steal game plans or anything, but just talk and catch up on things and figure out what works for one coach and how that might work for you, those kind of things? Oh, absolutely. You know, if you'll look around you right now, you just see people just huddled up talking everywhere. Sure. So I see a lot of guys that I used to work with throughout the years. I'll see some guys that I've known that I've actually coached against and we'll meet up and we'll just talk a little football. It's always fun to bring that uh bring that pen out and uh, start writing up and drawing up and seeing what happens. And it starts in practice, doesn't it? Always. Uh, thoughts, final thoughts about your team, Brett, just overall, what are your expectations of the team? Well, you know, we uh, we made the playoffs at New Diana for the first time in, I think, their eight years, the second year since I've been there, and, and I think we're going to do it again. Very good. Brett Ratliff, thank you so much, man. Do appreciate thank it. Thank you for having me. He's at New Diana, PSquaredSports.com, part of the Padilla Poll. I'm Jeff Power.